Hello, and thanks for stopping by. My name is Sandy, and today I'm going to be doing a summer tablescape. If you'd like to see how it turns out, keep watching. Now, I like to be able to use my table runners on the reverse side, um, even though they don't come that way. And this is an example of when that goes wrong. <laughs> I didn't notice until I went to use this, but the reverse side is like an acetate type material, which made it impossible to iron, but I tried. Now, I picked up these lanterns from the thrift store when I went last week. I forgot to show these when I did the haul but uh, they were $9.99 and then I got my discount and I placed in here a green candle, the flameless candle. So that'll go down in the lantern. This will be a part of my centerpiece. This is going to be the main part of the centerpiece and I'm just gonna place that right here between the lanterns. Now I'm going with Bird of Paradise for my main floral for this summer in here. And I have these. Now this, because it has the split in it, it's got two different holes down in here, which makes it kind of difficult to decorate it, but we're gonna go ahead and figure that out. Now, because of the holes in the top of this vase, it is very difficult to uh, decorate, as I mentioned before, but I am trying to make them balanced on each side just so that I kind of have it balanced, but it's going to have like a split in the middle, but you'll see at the very end, I found a solution for it. So be sure to stick around to the reveal. I'm really sorry that this tablecloth is so wrinkled. I must find a solution here. But in the meantime, all of my dinnerware are items that I had on hand with the exception of the smoke glasses. Those were a recent acquisition from the Dollar Tree. The chargers were from Z Gallery and the shimmery plates were from Home Goods. The dinner plate and the bowls are from Amazon. The disrespectful table runner is from Home Goods.
All right, so the table is done and I had already done my bar cart last week, but now that I bought in so much black in the table, which I wasn't intending to do, but that's my true style. And so I just keep getting pulled back into the black and gold, even though I was trying to do lighter, but I'm gonna go with the table because I love it. So now I think I'm gonna tweak the bar cart just a little bit, just so that they kind of blend in a little bit better. So I'm gonna do that by switching out the, ice bucket for this one, which brings in the black and the brass and the shaker. And I think that's all I'm gonna change to bring, to make it look more cohesive. So just take this out and this out and replace it with this and this. Now we've got the colors in there and I think it makes it look better. I'm gonna give you a closer look. All right, so that's what it's looking like. I do like it, and here it is against the table. I think it looks nice. I think eventually I'll probably switch out that floral to a more of a tropical floral, but for right now, that's all I have. But I did move my Bird of Paradise over here um, I'm going to put her back where she was because she's doing so well and I don't want her to have any problems. But for right now, she's here to go with the look. And that's what the table is looking like. Now, because I have an open floor plan, I like the looks to kind of flow together. And so I'm going to move over here. You can see my entryway there. My entryway table is basically empty right now, but I do want to create a look there that's going to blend in with this because you see that pretty much as soon as you come in the house, you will see the dining room table. So whatever I go with for the table, I need to also go with for the entryway. So let's go over there. Now, even though I have an open floor plan and it's a you know relatively small space between my entryway table and my dining table, I don't always have them with the same theme as far as how I decorate. I switch it up often, but for this look, I kind of wanted them to look the same. But that caused me to think, well, how do you handle it in your home? If you have an open floor plan, do you keep the same theme throughout your space or do you switch it up from, you know, area to area? Let me know down in the comments below. I'd be curious to know. Now, what I'm doing now is something that I've never done before, and that's putting some tape crisscross on this vase so that I can place the florals in it. I've never done this before, but I've seen it done many times on YouTube and Instagram, so I'm giving it a try. I think I was supposed to use uh, masking tape, which I did not have, so I used scotch tape, which is not really holding all that great. But if you can see here how the tape is crisscrossing here, and I'm just placing the florals you know, in each of the openings just so that I have a more spread out look. Again, this is trial and error. I've never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> I am really going to enjoy this look. I can already tell it is so very different for me, but these tropical exotic plants, florals are giving what they are supposed to give. I love it.
So what do you think? I am really, really liking it so far. It's so peaceful and calm and exotic and pretty. I just really, really like it. And it's fun for me. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're not currently subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave today. And if you're returning family, welcome back. I'm so happy you stopped back by. Stick around. I've got some bloopers at the end. See you next time. Bye. All right, so this is the runner that I'm using, but I'm actually going to use the opposite side of it. And it's got this kind of a lining type material. So I'm going to steam it a little bit to see if I can get some of these wrinkles out of it. Normally, I would not steam anything for the table. Uh-oh, look at that. I think I'm ruining it. Something white is coming out of this thing. Uh-oh. <laughs> this will be a blooper.